Oh, this is gonna be, this is probably be, this is a, this is a title. Might be a little bit clickbait. Might be a little bit uh, over the top, but it's true. Totally is. Hi, it's your pal Chris, and this is me today on August 6th, 2018. It's a Monday. I used to start a lot of videos that way. This is me today. Uh, back on a service I used back in the day called Vidler. Um, and Vidler was a place that I stumbled onto, I think, originally through uh, iJustine, maybe? Um, and I don't know exactly how I originally found her. At any rate, um, I remember watching a video from iJustine, I think, where she was talking with the, uh, the two principal guys at Vidler, and they were going to give away a then very coveted original iPhone. This was when the iPhone was very first coming out, so 10, 11 years ago. And so I, I got into Vidler and I started making these Me Todays. Um, and uh, I did one for every month that month in an attempt to win an iPhone and didn't. Um, but I met a lot of people along the way, including uh, Brandon, who uh, started his BB40 project, which in turn inspired me to, uh, to record a video for every day that I'm 40. Um, and of course, I Justine, as I mentioned, some of the other Vidler people. Um, and that was the first place that I came across Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, I loved his wine videos. His wine videos were, uh, were fantastic. I was looking, I hate beer. Never, never liked beer, I hated it. I was looking for a non-mixed drink. And the way that Gary talked about wine, uh, a non-mixed drink that would be for me, and the way that Gary talked about wine, I was super into it, it was way down to earth. And then gradually, you know, Gary started talking about business and, and how to crush it. Um, and uh, I followed along for that. But the reason I'm making this video today, um, this is actually the second time I'm, I'm making it. Uh, the earlier version uh, got all botched up uh, audio-wise. But the reason I'm making this video today is because at a certain point, um, Gary, I, I, Gary wasn't for me. Um, and that's through no fault of his. Um, but his videos did, as the title suggests, start to make me hate myself. Um, I, I'm in therapy now. Um, and uh, one of the things that I'm, um, I'm working with my therapist on is some some sort of deep-seated issues and, and needs of mine which include just wanting to do it all to make everyone happy to, to, to maximize every single moment of my life and then beyond maximize it to just keep crushing it for lack of a better way of putting it I I wanted to do that. And so that's why Gary's videos really appealed to me. And yet, at a certain point, I kept hearing this message and I kept feeling deficient, but I wouldn't stop watching the videos. I, I would keep watching them and I would keep feeling deficient because I wasn't crushing it as hard as everyone else. You know, I, I couldn't stay up till all hours of the night as much as I tried. I couldn't get up consistently um, very, very early in the morning as much as I tried. I could get up early, but not super early, not the kind, I could do it sort of, but not at the level that everyone else could. I was doing a lot of comparing myself to everyone else. And I worry that that's what a, a generation of, of folks about 10 years younger than me 15 years younger than me might be doing today when I, I heard uh, Casey Neistat, who's not that much younger than me, uh, if he's younger than me at all, uh, mention Gary today. And I've heard other people, including uh, Eric, um, whose videos I follow thanks to the No Small Creator uh, movement, um, 
I've heard him mention Gary. I've heard all sorts of people. P Peter McKinnon, whose, whose videos are long, but whose videos I like. Um, all these people mentioning Gary as a, as a source of inspiration, and, and I think that's awesome. But I think that there's a subset of people out there. I, I gotta believe I'm not alone in feeling like you go out and you watch these sort of self-help, self-empowerment videos, and at a certain point, they don't, they don't feel empowering anymore. Uh, they make you feel like you're not good enough. And, and, and as I said, that's one of my, my sort of deep-seated issues is that I never feel good enough. Um, I was trying to, uh, to crush it, so to speak, um, during a period when I was working a full-time job, I was teaching uh, enough classes that that might be considered a second full-time job. I was a father to two children, and I was uh, acting in plays at least a couple of times a year. And yet that still wasn't enough for me. I, I was also trying to keep my writing um, uh, business, um, not business, but keep my writing practice on track. And, and so some might say that I, I missed the point of, uh, of what Gary was talking about. I needed to, to narrow, to focus. Well, I did, I gradually over time, I, I, I zoned in on just the writing, but here's the thing, like, I, you only have so many hours in the day, man. You only have so many hours in your life. And you can't, you can't kill yourself trying to live up to somebody else's measure of success. So I had to stop watching, um, which, which bummed me out, because uh, I, I think he's, uh, I think Gary Vanderschuk's a pretty cool guy, as, as cool a guy as any Jets fan can be. Um, and, but now I, I, I just, I reached a certain point where I have to, I have to tell YouTube, like, not interested whenever I see his stuff pop up. Um, I have to, you know, uh, mute him on, uh, on Twitter. He's a great guy, but for whatever reason, for whatever reason, his, his content, God, I hate that word. His content is uh, not the not the right thing for me at this time in my life, and I'm just making this video. Not that you need permission, but if you do need permission to stop watching anybody's videos or stop reading anyone's blogs or stop following anyone's Instagram or tweets or whatever, give yourself that permission. If it's making you feel bad about yourself, not making you feel like you need to make a change, not you know, there's a certain amount of like feeling like. You, you, of, of not gentle ass kicking, but but necessary ass kicking. If if you feel like you're you're getting your ass kicked and it's it's necessary, you know, stick with it. But if you feel like uh, you're kicking your own ass, even after the uh, the ass kicker um, inspirational person is kicking your ass, that's, that's too much. That's too much ass kicking. Give your ass a break. That's that's what I'm saying.